Astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams are currently aboard the International Space Station, or ISS. Their mission was supposed to be routine. Now, they face an unexpected challenge. An extended stay in space. Their ride home, the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, is facing technical difficulties. This means Barry and Sunita are in a holding pattern, orbiting Earth, while engineers work tirelessly to solve the issues. The ISS is a marvel of engineering. It's a testament to international collaboration in the name of scientific exploration. For astronauts, the station becomes a temporary home. They conduct experiments, maintain the station, and marvel at our planet from a unique vantage point. Barry and Sunita are highly trained astronauts. They are well equipped to handle the challenges of living in space. However, the uncertainty surrounding their return adds a layer of complexity. NASA is committed to their safe return. The agency prioritizes the well-being of its astronauts above all else. As we venture further into the cosmos, we must learn from these experiences. Space exploration requires courage, ingenuity, and a healthy dose of patience. The Boeing Starliner spacecraft is designed to be a reliable crew transportation system. It aims to ferry astronauts to and from the ISS. However, the spacecraft has encountered a series of setbacks during testing and development. The current issue involves a combination of helium leaks and thruster problems. Helium is used to pressurize the Starliner's propellant tanks. This ensures that fuel and oxidizer flow smoothly to the engines during launch and orbital maneuvers. A leak in the helium system could jeopardize the entire mission. The thruster problems are equally concerning. Starliner relies on a network of thrusters for precise maneuvering in space. These thrusters are essential for docking with the ISS and for deorbiting to return to Earth. Boeing engineers are working diligently to diagnose and resolve these technical issues. They are analyzing data, conducting simulations, and performing rigorous testing. Safety is paramount. NASA and Boeing face critical decisions regarding the return of Barry and Sunita. The agencies must weigh the urgency of bringing the astronauts home against the paramount importance of safety. A hasty decision could put the astronauts at risk. However, prolonging their stay on the ISS also presents challenges. One option is to repair the Starliner spacecraft while it's docked at the ISS. This would allow Barry and Sunita to return to Earth on the same spacecraft they arrived on. Another option is to send a rescue mission. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft has proven to be a reliable crew transportation system. NASA could opt to send a Crew Dragon to the ISS to bring Barry and Sunita home. A third option is to wait for the next scheduled crew rotation mission. The decision will be based on a multitude of factors, including the technical feasibility of repairs, the availability of resources, and the potential risks and benefits of each option. While the station is well stocked with supplies, an extended stay could impact the astronauts' physical and mental well-being. Living in space for extended periods can take a toll on astronauts' psychological and emotional well-being. The isolation, confinement, and lack of familiar sensory experiences can lead to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression. The uncertainty surrounding their return adds an additional layer of stress for Barry and Sunita. To mitigate the psychological impacts of long-duration spaceflight, NASA has implemented various countermeasures. Astronauts have access to psychological support, communication with family and friends, and opportunities for leisure and recreation. The ISS is equipped with exercise equipment, movies, books, and even musical instruments to help astronauts maintain their physical and mental health. Despite these countermeasures, extended spaceflight remains a psychologically demanding endeavor. Barry and Sunita's experience highlights the importance of ongoing research into the psychological effects of space travel and the development of effective coping mechanisms. Section 5 Echoes of Endurance Lessons from Past Long Duration Missions Barry and Sunita are not the first astronauts to face the challenges of an extended stay in space. History is replete with examples of astronauts who have endured long-duration missions with grace and determination. One notable example is the Soviet Soyuz 11 mission in 1971. The three cosmonauts, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsayev, and Vladislav Volkov, 
spent a record-breaking 23 days aboard the world's first space station, Salyut-1. Another example is the Skylab 4 mission in 1973-74. The three American astronauts, Gerald Carr, Edward Gibson, and William Poe, spent 84 days aboard the Skylab space station. These past missions serve as a reminder that human beings are capable of extraordinary feats of endurance, especially when driven by a sense of purpose and a thirst for discovery. Barry and Sunita's current situation, while challenging, is not insurmountable. They are following in the footsteps of generations of space explorers who have faced adversity with courage and resilience. Section 6. Voices from Space Astronauts' perspectives on the situation. NASA has been remarkably transparent about the situation. They have held press conferences and released statements from both astronauts and mission control. Quotes from Barry and Sunita reveal their resilience and optimism. We're doing well up here, Barry said in a recent transmission. The ISS is a remarkable feat of engineering, and we're grateful for the hard work of everyone on the ground who's working tirelessly to bring us home. Sunita echoed his sentiments. Spaceflight has always been about pushing boundaries and overcoming challenges, she said. We're confident that NASA and Boeing will find a solution that prioritizes our safety. Section 7. The Right Stuff. Adaptability and Resilience in Orbit. The current situation emphasizes the qualities that make astronauts exceptional adaptability and resilience. They are trained to handle high-stress situations, solve problems on their feet, and maintain a positive attitude in the face of adversity. Living in a confined and potentially hazardous environment for an indefinite period would test the mettle of even the most grounded person. Yet, astronauts like Barry and Sunita demonstrate remarkable resilience. This situation is a powerful testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and overcome. Their experience serves as a source of inspiration for future generations of astronauts and for all of us facing challenges here on Earth. Section 8. The Long Journey Home Safety First, Science Always The saga of Barry and Sunita's extended stay aboard the ISS is a reminder of the inherent risks and rewards of space exploration. While the technical difficulties with the Starliner spacecraft are a setback, they also present an opportunity for learning and improvement. NASA's commitment to the safety of its astronauts is unwavering. Every decision made regarding the astronauts' return will be guided by a safety-first approach. This situation also highlights the importance of continuous improvement in spacecraft design and the need for robust backup plans. Despite the challenges, the pursuit of space exploration continues. Barry and Sunita's experience, though unplanned, will contribute valuable data to our understanding of long-duration spaceflight and pave the way for safer and more ambitious missions in the future. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we carry with us the lessons learned from those who have ventured before us, always striving for safety, always driven by curiosity, and forever inspired by the resilience of the human spirit.